I skip myself today. You got a fast song. I want to skip it anyway. Might as well skip. Might as well skip. Go on a skip. Might as well skip. Welcome to another episode of the Skippables Podcast. This is the show where we listen to the world's best bands. We find their worst songs. I'm your host, Gio Chabatazzi, and I am back with my co-host, Josh Lopez. What's up, Josh? Rev it up, whoop. <laughs> that, sounded, that sounded more like Sting. Than... <laughs> uh, what? And, and last time my Sting was fucked up? <laughs> Whoa. Dude, okay, you know, that's fine. I, that's I'm fine. trying my best. That was, that that was, was my good, best though. impersonation. It, it's been a while. That was so. good. Yeah, I, I felt... You trying, and, and even that's, before that's we started recording, I was like, my my throat is going out. Know. You know, I've already been singing all day today. Should so I called you out on that. I'm sorry. He did prepare for subject that. for him. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, for that, for that, you know. That. Also, thanks for the confidence. That was good. Yeah, thanks for having my that was, back. That was that ass, one. bro. That was mid. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> not taking it again. <laughs> well, you know, someone who could give you a nice critique, the professor oh, Leon God, Cortez. No. Welcome to the show, Leon. Hello, hello, psycho skip, 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 ski, fee, 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 p, p, p. I'm here to win. A C C C. F C C. Yeah, dude. Uh, this is gonna be a really cool episode. I feel like we're on like a a journey here thematically with the skippables oh, yeah. because we did the police last episode and we talked about rock and espanol and yeah. we're like, this what? gives me that vibe. Rock and it, rock and espanol, or do you want to say it the Spanish way? Rock in Espanol. Oh. <laughs> a little, a little there we there. go. Yeah, are you happy, Leon? Thank you, dude. <laughs> Thank you, dude. You I want you to say it in Castellano, dude. I want you <laughs> to say it like yeah, the Spanish. Vosotros. <laughs> vosotros. Uh, <laughs> would like to introduce the special guest who brought Café Tacuba to us, Greg Sanchez, comedian and producer of The Basement Dwellers in Covina, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming thank, on. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Greg. Yeah, thanks Ooh. for coming on, man. Appreciate you coming. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great honor. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, so, okay. So, uh, Café Tacuba, a band that I've heard, and this is something we're going to talk about, was the Mexican radio head, right? Uh, yeah. That's They're, what that's what people say. And that's I don't know. That's crazy. People say is that. Is that real? I've heard that. Every time before this, you've introduced, because like, you know, I didn't listen before, but... Um, Everybody told me that as an introduction. Like, oh, yeah, the, that's what they're they're like a Mexican Spanish radio head. So I was like, OK, cool. Wow. You know, one day I'll listen to them. So why did you choose this band? Was it because you love radio? I, I, chose, this, <laughs> <laughs> no, I chose this band because um, they're one of my favorite bands. And I knew that I wouldn't have to do too much homework going into this. Fuck yeah. Um, I know the first three albums really well. I know you guys were talking about um, what's that? Um, the Yo soy. Yo soy. Mm-hmm. I know that one's not even on like Spotify or Apple Music. No, it's not um, that's a pretty deep cut that you guys are are uh, pretty. Uh, well, was I the only one who listened to it? I, I I listened to it as well. Okay, yeah. and okay, then, okay. And then I think Leon listened to it as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. But um, yeah, it's just a it's a fun band. Um, I grew up listening to them because uh, my mom would play it. You know a lot. Hell yeah. And it's one of those bands that you kind of revisit because you remember it uh, from your childhood, and then it hits even harder when you're an adult. Oh, I love that. Yeah, fuck yeah. So, um, yeah, chose this band. They're awesome. They're dope. Um, no so, skippable songs. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Shit, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. <laughs> Whoa. But so, like, how deep did your fandom go? Like, I, I've had bands like that, like, uh, that my parents would play growing up. Yeah, and then yeah. as I got older, I got really, really into Hell them. Yeah. Like, was it something that you, like, fell down the rabbit hole with? Or you were just like, oh, I'm going to throw on some old favorites? Uh, no, I fell down the rabbit hole. I mean, and I know the... I feel like I know all three of those early albums from front to finish i like those earlier albums because they're like very angsty you know they're like this newer band and then i've seen them in concert twice and oh, they oh, uh, put on a pretty good show nice okay. where at? uh both times at the hollywood bowl oh cool yeah. cool are they like a really big sort of like performance wise like um high energy fireworks, fire, they're fire they're fireworks? older now but they're still very high energy lead singer still crazy front guy fuck yeah and then the the inst- guys who play the instrument are like very cool and laid back but they also <laughs> like to like, like there he party goes. too <laughs> dude like 
such a diverse sounding band. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Every like, single yeah. song. album to album. Yeah, yeah, they're really trips good. Trips me out, dude. So like your mom listened to them. So this was like kind of like contemporary music for her as as she was like growing up too. Yeah, I mean, right? um, they first album was what ninety one or something. Something like that. Like that yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, I was born in ninety five, and so. Pretty much, I guess it's been playing in the background of, of my house since I can remember. <laughs> Your whole life. Yeah. Whoa. Well, that was cool. That's cool. Okay. And then, uh, Leon, I know you have some experience with this band, right? Yeah, yeah. Cafe de Cuba. So, the Yo Soy Reves, one that we keep talking about, that yeah. it's not on Spotify. Uh, I came into that with, like, that infamous, that famous collection of CDs that I bought from my dad's friend who was moving. Oh, yeah. So, I had, like, a lot of these CDs that were, like, randoms that I kind of heard bands or whatever. Mm-hmm. But this one had nothing that said Cafe Tacuba on it, it's just that cover that we talked yeah, about. Yeah, that looks like a zombie, like, meat market. It's, it's like an X-ray, thing. and it's like a weird grayish yeah. kind of alien kind of looking thing. It's almost and then like... it's got like a brain, like an anatomically yeah. correct brain. Yeah, that's crazy. So have, you've always been pretty nerdy about music then? Yeah, I've <laughs> yeah. always been Get it, get it, yeah. right? <laughs> no, because like, because an album that experimental that you just kind of pick up that's crazy that you like listened to it and yeah like, yeah so i checked it out because I, I mean i had heard of them and then like and I, I i spent a lot of my summers in mexico mm-hmm. so like i hear like mtv was like my shit in mexico okay. so i'd like watch a lot of stuff so i heard a lot of stuff like there's a lot of stuff like in like like stuff that was big in england but it was big in mexico as well but it wasn't here okay so it's a lot of that kind of stuff and then a lot of stuff in like rock and spanish kind of stuff and then the Café de Cuba was always one of them. He dodged the bullet. Fucking dude. That's God. Boom, boom, boom. I can't believe Rock it. Rock in Spanish. <laughs> Rock in Espanol. all the way around, dude. <laughs> Rock in Espanol. There you go, dog. You got it? He got it good. Got it good. You think you got it good? Is it good? Did it peak? Good. Did it peak? Or you want me no, to get no, it again? Good. All right, cool. <laughs> we can get a couple more times in the episode. Let's get him a pop filter. I'll get you a couple more times. Don't worry about it. But yeah. So yeah. So I got into that. And then this album, the Yo Soy, fucking blew my mind. Uh, cool. So I got into it like that in like the middle school, maybe eighth grade, ninth grade. Oh, God damn, Liam. So that was like, I was like destroying my head. Yeah, yeah, dude, but I was like a weird ass kid and go to Barnes and Nobles and just hang out at the you magazine section. Yeah. Yeah. And Thank you, sense, Josh. Dude. Fuck, man. <laughs> Let me no, live. This, this cool. makes a lot of sense. It's just like, because this is my first time ever listening. Really? You know? <laughs> so like, <laughs> so like I'd go and then just like, you know, the back of these magazines will have like, they're bi-monthlies or like fucking oh, yeah. like twice a year there's these huge ones like the big takeover which is like 300 pages but they'd have these sampler cds on the back oh, i'd be nice. fucking cleaning them out dude yeah just straight Thief. slip slip Thieving. slip slip oh, slip yeah. <laughs> but this is back in the day dude. you didn't have any streaming shit there was yeah. no yeah, youtube that's all you can get. yeah so i was just literally just just breaking any music through that and like music magazines that's yeah. cool. I remember that, like the K Rocks, like hot, like twenty, yeah. like greatest hits or something. I do like that. There's a Christmas sampler. Yeah, you know, the big takeover, Fader magazine, like all these fucking oh, good okay. ones. But yeah, then the Café de Cuba was just always there. But like they were like, a, a like always kept up to that like alternative music that was happening in the 2000s, and like sometimes even like way more diverse because like a lot of the later albums are really good still i'm really into them too mm, cool have you have you listened to their later albums not really i know um the popular stuff you know the stuff that would have a little star next to it but nothing right. nothing too deep like i do with the first few ones okay yeah, yeah. So they, like they continuously like made good music and i remember like a big thing that happened in like the 2000s is like they played coachella and they were like everybody was talking about like who the hell is this band and i was like dude it was been around for fucking <laughs> yeah. ever because they the, put on a really good show uh, at Coachella. It's like an infamous, like, was it 2008 or nine? That that's when they played somewhere yeah, on there. Okay. And then yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll rediscover, I'll discover some of their new stuff when they put out like live albums, you know? So they'll, oh, uh, right. they'll like, um, yeah, it's just cool hearing this on a, on a live album and then rediscover, discovering what it sounded like on like whatever, uh, studio album they came out. Yeah. Totally. Dude. And I was telling like Geo, like it's like earlier, it's, it, the, this band was cool because it's like, usually like rock and rock and espanol there you go uh it's like two routes it's like really like on the bluesy end kind of like rock and roll like Jawares and like ifanes and then or the other end which is like like panteon rococo and all that kind of stuff which is way more raw like ska and reggae yeah these guys were like yeah. really w- alternative kind of weird like really dancey even from like the second and first album they have like some really like kind of jazzy stuff right like funky ass shit very funky yeah also some of it feels like it's like on rails like they're just kind of like the keyboard player is like 
Oh, it just feels so sick. structured in a way yeah. that like yeah. just kind of makes me feel like yeah. they didn't put too much effort, but like they're like, yeah, like let's kind of hit that formula and like, yeah. well, but I, it just sounds good. What about you, Gio? Have you did you listen to them before? Uh, yeah, not really, not really. No, no, it was more like I been, have been told for my entire oh, life yeah. they're the radio, you know, by Leon. Yeah, by, by, <laughs> no, no, I mean like. I can't think of the first person that told me. Definitely my brother mentioned that in passing. Because my brother, like, I asked him, and he loves them, of course. Big, you know, um, big proponent of, like, that whole genre. So it's like, I think that it just skipped me because of that, you know, connotation. I was just like, okay, that's fine. Like, I like the real Radiohead. I like, I like Radiohead, <laughs> you know? Like, and I think that anybody, like, doing an imitation... I wouldn't like, you know? Okay, okay, so, but your brother was like, oh, you like Radiohead? Like, check out the Mexican no, radio. No, more like, it, it would be, because, like, he didn't really, like, share his music with me in, like, that kind of way. Mm. It was more like, if I liked something and I asked him about it, he'd tell me, but, like, he wasn't being like, oh, I gotta put you on, you know, oh, little see, bro. I like, he, I was 12 years younger, he didn't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> not like that. Get out of the way. He did not give a fuck. But, but, like, so, I, I remember, like, in passing, someone mentioned them, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, the radio head of, uh, Mexico. I was like, oh, okay. Like, like, all right, let's talk hmm. about that. that. Let's person. talk about that saying, all right. Somebody said Let's it, talk about dude. that saying. I think, I interpret that as, like, they're the alternative band that's progressively moving the alternative music in the same sense as Radiohead does. Okay. okay. They're not saying it's like a fucking carbon copy of radio. Yeah, of course. And like that's but I think when I heard that, that's what my fear was and that's what my aversion started. I was like I'm not mm. listening cuz I don't want to have that comparison in my you know, head. You know what they say, dude, you can't judge a book by its cover. It's true, dude. yeah. And I also don't think it's like fair for people to just kind of like do a one to one with artists like that. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like no, they're their own band and they're experimental as fuck. Actually, yeah. like the craziest like lineup of songs in an album I think I've ever heard. Yes, <laughs> you know, like one to one, just completely different genres after each good other. Good singer, and you hadn't Very heard this singer. before either, right? No, I'm brand new to this. Um, and goddamn, what a ride! Yeah, it oh, was dude. straight up up and down, like stop and go you know it i wasn't ex i i had heard like i don't know just in general from you guys that i need to cut into rock and espanol there you go Ooh, Ooh, nice ooh, ooh that was a but, fucking hard r I, I was prepping already because you guys like, <laughs> the only time when a hard r is good <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> Great hard art. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I'm super new to this and uh, wasn't really expecting. There were parts that I was, uh, you know, not really like thrilled by, but there were also parts that I was just like, wow, I can't believe like Leon was saying this was, you know, 2000 and was already so like not even shoegazy, weird, experimental, like avant-garde sort yeah. of rock, you yeah. know? Yeah. So yeah, I dug it, and uh, I think I think we'll cut it up. Yeah, I didn't though. I know. Oh, interesting. I know some people here say that there aren't skippable tracks, but I think I have a really strong contender. Okay, I, I think okay. So for me, I I had the issue coming into it, and then as soon as I listened, it like you know the blinders came off, and it was like there is no comparison. There really is no comparison. No, there isn't. Especially when like you think about the types of genres in each album that they do it's like it's just not the same you know like i feel like they're way more culturally rooted and just have like a lot more fun in their music and like radiohead like they take themselves so seriously yeah and like in a in a bad way in like a way that like kind of makes me like feel bad for their wives and stuff like some of it sounds, <laughs> there's no radio head that sounds like lost, no doubt demos, yeah. you know, <laughs> is all I'll say. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, Got Pita Cuba definitely has they would some have tracks some, yeah. that have some Gwen ska OC jump on energy. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Man, um, all right, are you ready for a quiz? Because I, I, I think we, we've That's all. That's a good intro. Uh, yeah. Kind of yeah. gotten into some. I'm ready. I'm a bad test taker, but I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you're a fan. Yeah, you have a step. That's up. I don't know, like how deep, like you're here. I'll turn a little. Bit. We'll see. <laughs> but um, okay. The only rule, if you do know the answer, just go last in the round. Right. Okay. So, uh, number one in 2013, which Cafe de Cuba album was named number one Latin rock album of all time by Rolling Stone? Is that 
A Reves, uh, B Cuatro Caminos, or C Re. What year is it again? 2013. Shit. But that's when they named it, not when the album came right, out. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, okay. that, that's when they were named. Okay. When they named what again? Fuck, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the number one Latin rock album okay. of all time. Of all time. Of all time, all time by, all right. by Rolling Stone. Okay. Re. I yeah. agree. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. I'm yeah. going to go with uh, Reves. It was... Si re. Yeah. And I think that was like, listening to it, it feels like just in the audio engineering, it's like they knew what the fuck they were doing. You know, yeah, they no, came no. in like with a plan. It sounded incredible. That was my stubborn ass right there. Just yeah. like, <laughs> I want it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> all right. Uh, number two, when the members of Café de Cuba first met, what were all four members studying in school? Is that A, audio engineering, B, graphic design, or C, civil engineering? Fuck. I'm going to guess C, civil engineering. I'm going to go B, graphic yeah. design. I'm also going to go civil engineering. It was B, graphic design. Oh, shit. Dude, that for those first couple album covers, dude. Oh, yeah. For yeah, sure. right? <laughs> the first they're, one, they're like, it's all bringing our, our art styles yeah. together. <laughs> and we have to get there. That makes a lot shit. of sense. I got this shit called Photoshop. <laughs> makes our shit easy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. They're like, put in those bold colors. Holy shit. Look at the magenta for the first album. Yeah, just like all their artwork, all their album covers. Yeah. Have like yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. It's very uh, classic sort of design. <laughs> yeah. wow. All right. Uh, so that was Gio and Leon. Number three. No, I think it was just Leon. I think, just me. Yeah, oh, really? Me and Greg chose the, the other one. Oh. Just one. Never mind. Okay, so Leon. Sorry, professor. Winner takes it all. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, number three. When recording the album Cuatro Caminos in 2003, Café Tacuba collaborated with drummers Victor Indrizo and Joey Warrenker of which of these bands? Is that A. Beck, B. Cake, or C. Third Eye Blind? I'm going to guess Beck, dude. Uh, I'm going to do Cake. I'm going to go with Beck. It was a bag. Okay, good. I'm glad. I only only did cake because I thought about cake earlier today. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I, I swapped it out and what? put cake for you. Good. Led him to that, dude. What if there's God, dude? <laughs> I, I said Beck because apparently he discovered the um, uh, Mr. Loco for Nacho Libre. Really? Yeah. He just like. Well, he like he, yeah. uh, he told uh, the director you should check this music out. So I'm like, this dude's probably like. Knows Tempting. about Mexican Whoa. music. Yeah, rock. Shout out back, dude. <laughs> Odele. <Odelay>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are <they>? Odele. <laughs> he has that, that album, right? Oh, yeah, With, with the D, right? Odele. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, he has that one song. Um, was it Que On right? All oh, right, right, yeah. Damn, this fucking yeah, guy, dude. Who's from East L.A., dude? He's oh, sipping, really? He's sipping the Café Tacuba. Yeah. The, fool, the, fool, the fool grew up in a punk squat. Yeah. Beck? Yeah. yeah. Damn, Damn, trip out. That's his mask. What? Yeah, his parents were connected to the mask. Wow. That's crazy to me. Like early, early, early LA punk shit. Oh, wait. I was conflating the mask with the glove, and I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. You know the glove? The, Su- Susie and, no, yeah, uh, no. and Robert. The mask, yeah. like the punk venue, the venue for that. Oh, okay. Right. Mm. Damn, that's sick. Mm. Okay. Um, shout out back. Shout out. Shout out back. Did I mark you guys? Yeah. All right. Uh, number four. Um, when Café Tacuba f- made their first music video for the song Las Batallas, what was their motivation for doing so? Was that A, singer Ruben Albaran uh, had a girlfriend uh, of his that, and that he told he was in a band and needed the music video as proof that he was in the band? Um, B, it was a group homework assignment, uh, that graphic design stuff, or... C, by chance, uh, their friend, Mexican film director Alonso Ruiz Palacios, was wanting to get some experience making music videos. Oh, shit. I'm going to go with C. Yeah, I'm going to go with C because it was so specific. I'll do B, <laughs> uh, group project. It was B, it was a group oh, homework oh, assignment. Yes. That seemed too, like, obvious. Yes. You're De- leading me to, in the like, details. You're leading yeah. us to, like... Mm-hmm. A trap. Yeah, exactly. And I then they got on like, the bus. And uh, <laughs> I wasn't trying to fall That's like Geo true. fell to that last one. You know? Yeah. <laughs> no. I, yeah. 
again. All right, guys. Uh, number five. Ding, 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 ding. Lightning round. Whoa. Uh, the, <laughs> the, co- the cover of Café Tacuba's album Re features a snail shell on a lush red background. However, the original pressing included versions with three other alternate background colors. Can you name the colors? A point for every single color that you can name. Everyone gets three chances. Leon Turquoise. Go. Okay. Green. Um, yellow. Okay. How many more shots? That's it. Uh, right? that, that's three. Everyone gets um, three shots. I think after I go first, because I, f- I feel like I don't want to take up all the good colors. <laughs> Orange. Pink. Yellow. Okay. Uh, purple. Black. Uh... What other colors are left? <laughs> you can repeat brown? the colors. <laughs> and the brown. fuck? You got the worst colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brown, the worst color. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's out of Leo's hey, hey, Okay, hey. guys. The colors were black. Yes. Ooh. Green. And yellow. Yeah. So, so that means, so everyone so that means that Geo gets one, uh Gray gets one, and Leon gets two. Wow. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, 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 that, was, that lightning was, was New lightning incredible, round. dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that at that you was guys incredible. every now and again. Not every episode. Yeah. Let, <laughs> yeah. you guys Give me a break, guys. <laughs> too much work, too much work. <laughs> All right. Uh, number six. Which member of Cafe Tacuba also played for a Mexican soccer team, Cruz Azul? Oh, is shit. that um, uh, Emmanuel de Real, Ruben Albaran, or Enrique Rangel? I'm going to go Emmanuel because he's tall. Oh. And lanky. It's the guy who plays uh, the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go with that one too. I'm going to go B. I think it was Ruben? It was A. Emmanuel de Real, Heck the keyboardist. Yeah. And like, I guess, Whoa. programmer. I guess they use drum machines. And oh, yeah. That, that makes yeah, a lot of sense. Machines, sure. You know? But, um, yeah, I guess during, I wish I wrote it down, but, um, during the production of one of their albums, he was like in and out of, um, the studio because he had broken his leg playing for the amateur league of Cruz Azul. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's crazy. I didn't know he actually played. Yeah. 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 Competitively, dude. So that was. That's sick. Great. It's like the minor league of them. All right. Last question. Not necessarily. (laughs) You better be here recording. Dude. <laughs> yeah. There's like under 20s and like under 15s and under 9s and shit. Age, Academies. Age groups? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I'll trust you. Yeah. Uh, last question. Uh, Layers of this shit. Number seven. The lyrics of Caf- Café Tacuba track Esperando are actually directions that lead to which of these places? A. Ruben Alvaran's old girlfriend's house. B. Basis Kike's house. Or C, the taqueria closest to the studio. Oh, taqueria. I'm going to go taqueria. That's the track. I'm going <laughs> the with track. track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to go ex-girlfriend's house. It seems kind of simpy. And yeah. <laughs> That's it's fucked like, up. This is where <laughs> I yeah, go. if you did that shit, dude. Let's fuck that fool up. That's <laughs> fucked up. Don't do G- that. Gio, did you say one? Uh, uh, yeah, I said C. It was the taqueria spot. It was B the basis house. house guys mm, okay. no. and it's That's crazy okay. because the lyrics are so like um like come here closer I'm already waiting for you like pass here and if you can even like reach me and stuff like that so I don't know what's going on between these guys mm-hmm. and we were talking about like their uh, oh sorry that makes Leon the the quiz winner oh my god and Greg second Bum. place Geo third place hey there you go second place. can't win them all dude that was oh, great man, great job yeah, dude. thank you Proud In- incredible so I think you we all know what you get maybe Greg doesn't know but you get a nice little break you get a break right mm-hmm. um so stretch my break. legs thank you we'll be right back No me digas que te escuches No me digas que te adores Porque yo quiero soltarme hasta el fin del mundo Skipable Okay, we're back. 
No, we're not. We're not fucking. <laughs> I was, I was, <laughs> usually, you're a lot quicker on that to stop me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I stopped myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that you took a break there. <laughs> but uh, no, we're not fucking back because we need all of these uh, Cafe Tacuba heads. I don't know what you call each other, but. Uh, Coffee heads, dude. <laughs> coffee heads you java heads yeah <laughs> uh you guys all need to follow us on instagram at the skippables underscore pod uh at tiktok at the skippables we're on apple pod and stitcher's mm. dead right we we yeah, drop them we, yeah. we dropped the dump, the bomb on them right yeah so they're gone, <laughs> we nuked right? them yeah, yeah, yeah uh we're everywhere where pods are so please like leave us a rating it really does yeah. help us like get more exposure big time uh we've been sh- fucking pulling our hair out and then i left a review i was like oh yeah. my god my hair's <laughs> growing back <laughs> but uh uh yeah, yeah so check us out uh greg uh what are your plugs where can people follow you instagram that's pretty much it yes. um san goyo s-a-n dot g-o-y-o hell yeah check follow hilarious comedian yeah up and coming fucking uh sgv comedy hub yeah. in the basement uh w- w- what's the venue uh Let the fred house the fred house, house. Yeah, yeah. the basement of the fred house uh get in early all oh, right because yeah. they'd be selling sell out sell fast out. Sell yeah. out quick but we live here we haven't gone because we can't get tickets <laughs> yeah. but Very yeah. exclusive. that exclusive dude yeah, it's dude. awesome but follow greg follow us we have a patreon uh yeah, two dude. episodes uh two extra episodes every month so yeah, and um, if you want to see our pretty faces if you want to see everybody's reactions to all of our hilarious jokes <laughs> that's on our patreon yeah if you want to see the full length of all the funny clips that geo posts yeah you know that's on our patreon yeah check us out on patreon um so yeah i guess we can be back now we're back okay so we're doing the awards. This is serious business. Of course, we're going to end with the most serious, but let's have a little fun first. Doing some auxiliary awards. All of the pantheon of awards that we've ever created are up for grabs. They're on the table. First three rounds. First three Brutal. rounds. Decades so, of awards, dude. <laughs> exactly. Pass dude. down. Years of us culling through, you know, scrolls at the Library of Alexandria, and we Century. found these awards, okay? <laughs> and... um First round. Can I start, actually? Yeah, start yeah. us off, Joe. And, and just for the listener, if this is your first time, these Skippy Awards, this is not all good songs. These are not all bad songs. But ultimately, we're finding the most skippable song by Café Cuba by our standards. And to do so, at least for this part one, we ran through the gauntlet of the first five albums. Yeah. And I was going to list them, but then I feel like we all kind of listened to different albums. <laughs> we all did. <laughs> yeah. It's true. So we'll go jazz on this. One. yeah but like ultimately spanning like what 10 ish years of them being a band Just right yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah i think the only the thing we all years. didn't listen to was the last three or two right i don't think i heard some of the cover album but i didn't like listen I right don't think i heard the whole thing okay um but, yeah so we listened to a lot of it not all of it maybe we'll do part two sometime but it's only three albums so maybe if they release a new album we can do part two yeah yeah so and do four of them so yeah, we went through the gauntlet for this and we're going to find the most skippable song by the end of this episode, y'all. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I'm starting off because I'm afraid that somebody else chose it, but then I looked at your lists and you have you didn't have this song on. So I'm, I'm, I've been stressing about oh, this all day, dude. I felt your dude, spider sense. I was like, I'll, I'll let you have this. <laughs> you, you must have a great life if that's all you were stressing about. Stressing all day. Yeah, hard, dude. dude. I'm at work. I got to pay my bills. Ignoring dude. my Jesus. work, dude. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Not looking at what I was doing. Just killing people in the process. But you know what? Oh, my God. <laughs> you, none of you chose what I chose for my first award, okay? Oh, man. The Outcast anamorph award i'm so glad you're taking this because it really was my an- my fucking my spidey sense i was like yeah Gee, i'm gonna let I'm, you have this uh, one. i alpha you, you dude what is it just like well i mean uh, so so what's the award dude well so it, it's an award for when the artist makes an attempt at sounding like an animal <laughs> <laughs> right and it was raro tonga yes oh, yeah, yes and of course it like my favorite, my favorite animal in the world. Yeah, your favorite animal is is the chimpanzee, the ape. Oh, that's awesome. The monkey, <laughs> and monkey. dude, they go for it. And I, I want to say I listen to a lot of, you know, Instagram monkey reels. I hear yeah, them. I that's hear them your speak. whole social he's media. Deep on, he's deep on the monkey talk. <laughs> yeah, Big it's deep. Just monkey. I will say that usually when they're in, you know, happiest, they do make like a <laughs> kind of like panting noise, like, nice pant, like a dog, like yeah, a dog. Yeah. But um, he does a really good stereotypical version 
which I think is, you know, that has merit too. That's just low hanging fruit though. Come on. Like (laughs) it's good though. Okay. So here's his, here's his version of, of, of the great ape or maybe a chimpanzee. Dude, it's such a frantic song. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. The they, it has like I almost gave that. There was a creepy one, right? Award. I almost picked that one oh, for that because it, it it has a creepy little vibe to it. It know? is really creepy. They kind of yeah. do a couple songs in that weird Halloween scale. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I feel like you could drive through Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yes. Yes. Wow, oh my <laughs> Mario. Yeah. Man, I'm I'm so glad that like at least someone else had the idea for this award because yeah. like I heard it and I was like, man, like it's perfect. It's a perfect call. If if we were in like a you know 1960s Bugs Bunny cartoon and there was like a chimpanzee sound yeah. effect, like this guy nails it. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Mel Blank. She sounds like Mel like Blank a, in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Rainforest Cafe, dude. Exactly, yeah, dude. Yes. Go. Um. Yeah. So that's my first award. Good. Solid. So glad yeah. that you said it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Um. You want to go next, Greg? Um, shoot, what did I even? Okay, yeah. Um, uh, the let's do that tropico. The, the okay, cancer. yeah, tropico. The um, that one is the most pretentious award one. Um, just because it oh, is, Marcy. but it's also it's a banger, man. It's a real banger. I, um, it's uh, about like <laughs> putting cement into like nature and like this uh engineer who's leaving his job because he um he wants to preserve the greenery and like these indigenous spaces um it's a it's a really good song though even though it's pretty pretentious i love it it's awesome man if if they had bono singing this dude yes (laughs) you know (laughs) so like the crimea river type thing dude if you had morrissey singing this song jesus yeah he would never Uh -uh. he would never (laughs) no 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 spanish oh (laughs) <laughs> speak the Latin tongue okay here we go here's a little bit of uh, Tropico de Cancer que no ves que nuestra mente no debe tomar en cuenta ecologistas indigenistas retrogradistas ni humanistas hay mis ingenieros civiles y asociados no crean que no me duele irme de su lado pero es que yo pienso que ha llegado awesome song dude and you can see like his voice can go crazy from what geo picked to like something nice and calm and mellow like that awesome dude yeah hear every emotion in his voice is mm-hmm. super dope and really it's good not even like the craziest like juxtaposition of like stuff on there because this is like a nice buttery smooth they do this sound very very often yeah mm-hmm. and they do it well really well you know and um i came across uh while i was doing research for the quiz they their songwriting like uh like approach is very collaborative so mm. everyone's throwing ideas yeah, for every song when you hear a song too you'll be thinking like like what is this about that's, that's what, like that's why i like queen too like i feel like they do that too like they'll just throw out songs with these lyrics and kind of let you figure it out and mm. um yeah it's like this big like mess but it's also very pretty at the same time yeah oh, super fucking pretty yeah, so, rips. yeah, so there, there's a lot of instances where they have this down, and then like the next thing is completely different. I know, yeah, especially this album, dude. Yeah, Which is yeah. like why it's like probably like a masterpiece, dude. That's, I think that's a big like thing in it that it's like not just one cohesive album. It's like a mismatch of like every genre they could think of, yeah. and it still works. You know, they were trying like everything and like whatever stuck almost didn't even stick yeah <laughs> yeah you know I mean? they just stick like together but on, like yeah. it sticks in your head yeah are right, you want to go next me yeah. oh uh yeah you know what uh i had another one but uh let's do the uh mix and match award oh, for okay. this exact reason yeah because every single song is like different within uh the album Re, like from yeah. song to song so i have just you could play one of them, but um, we should actually play all of them. Uh, El Ciclon, which is like 
completely different than the song that comes afterwards, which is like a metal song. We, we should play them. Let's do a little bit of each one. Okay. Because these songs sequentially sound like different bands, different albums, mm. different fucking decades, yeah. you know? But they're right after each other on the album. Okay, so here's El Ciclón. El Ciclón. <laughs> Right there. Hira, hira, <laughs> yeah, it is very big. Yeah. And what was the other one? Uh, the next one is El Borrego, which is like a fucking synth metal fucking song. Already insane that those two songs are right after each other. And then right after this song, they do Esa Noche, which is just like the pop single. I mean, not the biggest one, but like it's again. Yeah, a easy big, listen. Yeah. Easy listening that music. so good. The, yeah. the drum yeah. on that. The dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So good. <laughs> so again, it here. Yeah, let's play a little bit of it. Yeah, esa misma noche encontré un amor Me abrazó el instante mismo Que tú me dijiste Yeah, I love when the keyboardist Emmanuel gets on the vocals, dude. It's awesome. Yeah, some yeah. of my favorite songs are his yeah. vocals ones. It is. This one has that really nice end where everyone's fucking singing and it's like that chant shit. Fuck. Yeah, it totally. It sounds like haunted in a way. But yeah, Definitely. like... I, those three songs sound like three different bands, <laughs> yeah. you know? Well, and yeah. uh, again, like to your point, it's like, you know, just that in that madness, I think like a lot of art thrives and it's probably why people like Rolling Stone think of it as like yeah, best album the best or album whatever, you know? I, I think so. Cause it encompasses like so much and it's, it's so good at everything. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That's the beauty of it. Right, what about you, Leon? What's your first award? I'm going to go with, uh, a new classic. A new Whoa. classic. The Lookout Lin Manuel Miranda Award. Yes. Yes. For, for a song that sounds like it can be used best in a musical. Ew, there we go. Damn, what did you choose, dude? And this one goes to Ingrata. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Ingrata just is a fun song. Just, I, I can just see this production, you know? Good shit. <laughs> That's the bop, dude. It is a bop. <laughs> yeah. Also off a of rev. Which is, I guess, we're all now kind of on the Ore is the yeah, quintessential yeah, album. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but really it's also, it's like quintessential, but also it has like how many fucking songs? It's so long. It has like yeah. 20 yeah. songs. It's very right? long. Yeah. You know, they they stopped performing this song live because um, they're condemning, uh, is condemning the right word? Fuck. Uh, they're speaking up against uh, violence against women. Oh, uh, okay. And they're dude, like, yeah, some, we're not doing this shit anymore, dude. Sometimes you gotta... The song is mean. <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do it. Uh, any, anytime? Hey, I paid to uh, get in. <laughs> I think I have, yeah, anytime. Just from the beginning. Okay. Even, like, just from the beginning. Yeah, it's just, it like, starts hard. Curtains dude. open. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Curtains open and you hit this. This is how I want my rancheras, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, his voice. Dude. It's great. So it's good. like kind of ugly, yeah. but also like awesome. He plays yeah. into that, especially in the first album. He's like, yeah. It's yeah. so yeah. high, dude. Yeah. Is that like. Have you seen the music video for this song? No. They're like um, in some kind of mercado, like outdoor market, and they're just like, they're a crazy group he's got pink hair he's got like horns on his head it's pretty dope, yeah. <laughs> yeah they were very yeah, the dude. early 90s was very uh, uh 
Red Hot Chili Peppers adjacent yeah. driven yes. in style and like even some of the music. Well, they grew oh, up around like punk. Like they they grew yeah. up in the punk scene. Like yeah. they they were playing. I, I forget what song, but they like uh, call out like uh, some bands that they like played oh, with. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. I forget which one. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, yeah, they reference punk in their lyrics a lot too. Yeah, so he doesn't mind dude. being ugly. Yeah, you know? totally. Yeah, but that just uh, the production, dude. That song raps. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A good song. but like, yeah, they just should do it like a ranchera right there. And it's yeah, cool. seriously. Mm-hmm. And it's not the only instance. Oh yeah. man, yeah. Okay, so um, I'll go next because actually I have round two, I, round, yeah, round two. two, ding ding. I've got a new award. Fuck, I'm so glad. You know, I I felt left out. I think you made <laughs> the Lookout Lin Manuel Miranda Award, and someone made the the Watch Your Back Zach Braff Award. I made that one, right? Someone, you said yeah, someone. someone. Dude. You made that one, right? Yeah. You made that one. Give him his flowers, dude. It's my, it's, it's yeah, my turn. On. Okay. Oh and shit! This one is. For a song that belongs in a subversive children's movie, <laughs> uh, this is a. Uh, That's the name of the award. No, no, no. Uh, you're gonna need to see this Robert Rodriguez award. <laughs> you're gonna need to see this. You're gonna, Robert you're gonna need to see this Robert Rodriguez <laughs> award um, for Cometer Suicidio. Oh, okay. This song, if done right, in the hands of a Robert Rodriguez could kill in the next spy kids movie dude. Oh, spy kids shit. five um yeah let me get let me get to that real quick here we go We're off the first album huh? off the first album yeah of course it's pretty wild the song is kind of funny though Did I not put it? Hold on. well i'm glad that we're getting this award finally yeah you know, like it, this applies to so many songs. The kids need a retroactively. Voice. Yeah, Ron yeah. Rodriguez, the Spike Kids guy, right? Yeah. Here we go. Coming next to see the summer. Guardian What's happening in this trailer? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Shark Man <laughs> and his wife. I'm Lava Shark Woman. Boy. Yeah. Uh oh, <laughs> dude. Um, damn, Robert just... Rodriguez, hit us up, dude. We got you, dude. Yeah, yeah. I got your back, dude. Be on the writing room with music you. coordinator, please. It, it just seems like it's so upbeat. It's so, and it's about committing suicide. You know, like that's his whole. Like he just wants to kill himself. The whole song. He tries to drown himself in the sink. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I, bought, I bought a scooter to drown myself. Uh, we, we talked a little bit about that uh, with the police, um, where it's like happy songs with like dark lyrics, just super you know, dark. and they're definitely a culprit for yeah. sure. They do this a lot. And I just think that like, yeah, I, I think if you could have a director that would understand the appeal of the music and that it's a little fucked up, you know, this is right up his alley. Yeah. Robert, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. Damn. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's what, what, what's the award again? This is the you're gonna have to see this Robert Rodriguez <laughs> award. Good. That's really good. Fucking finally. Dude. Okay. So people have spoken. Yeah. <laughs> the trio is finally here, dude. Lin Manuel, Miranda, Zach Braff, Zach Braff and Robert Rodriguez. Robert Rodriguez. Yeah. Fact that dude. We need to get them. Get in them the in works. a room, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, Greg. Do you want to go next? Um. Yeah. I I just picked a song I like. Let me think of an award for it, dude. Oh, if it's a song you like, we can do Hidden Gem. Um, oh, it's not a hidden. Okay, yeah, Hidden Gem award or a Bob Junior. Oh, Bob Junior. Also, Bob, Bob Junior. Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, Chica Banda. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which I believe is a song where they're calling out like the old school like punk stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like falls in love with this. This chick. Hold on. All right, ready? Here we go. Yeah. 
Yeah. What do you call that instrument that he plays? He's like has a tube and he's blowing in it, but he's like also a, playing the, the melodic melodic melodic. Yeah, dude, that's so dope. Dude. I was gonna say, yeah. uh, here on the Skippables, like we know how I feel about a harmonica. Mm. It drives me fucking nuts every mm-hmm. time I hear it. Oh, I is that cringe. basically what it's doing? Like that kind of kind of. But every time I hear a melodica, I have the exact opposite. It's dude. true. Yeah. When The Office comes on, <laughs> <laughs> start doing the gritty. That's true, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing the gritty to the office. But that melodica every time, <laughs> every time. Shout out Scranton, Pennsylvania. Yeah, dude, Scranton. <laughs> every time I hear that melodica in their discography, it's fucking awesome, dude. It's, it's so, so, so sick. sick. Yeah, yeah. It sounds great. You, you know what I love about that song when he goes, uh, he shouts out that Seco Dude, I was gonna ask you, what is that a school? That's a high school. Okay, oh, nice. so like Secundarias are like high school, so like they like they all have numbers. Like a lot of the schools have okay. numbers, so like they just cool. shouts out le- that- a legit high school in <laughs> Mexico yeah. City or somewhere in Mexico City yeah, that's, so what high I, that's what I assumed and I was like I'm gonna ask this guy since he spends a lot of yeah. time in Mexico <laughs> so like Dude. I assume so sick imagine you actually go to that second yeah, that's that's and that song is like yeah. you put that shit out yeah. of a party dude that's like, sick dude and oh, then the song dude. is just so playful and yeah. then everyone's like having a good time dude, dude music dude. video there's like acid dancers dancing with the punk chick <laughs> we gotta have see the music videos yeah. we, we, dude some of the music videos are so good they're so like drama yeah, for yeah, sure yeah. they're good yeah yeah that oh, would be yeah. a good tvod they're very funny okay cool but um th- we should have made an award for like barbecue fucking good vibes music <laughs> like i feel like you throw this on at a fucking party a pool party the kickback awesome. award yeah, yeah. the kickback the award kickback exactly. oh my god dude, this yeah. plane i'm a kickback <laughs> Absolutely. My shake back, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, dude, that's the question I had. Since they're like a 90s band, do they have vinyl? Mm-hmm. They yeah, do? They, they do. Yeah. Uh, a lot Is of tapes, like, though, too. Uh, spinning spinning plates had one, has, has Ray, but it's like 60 bucks. Shout out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, you know what? They have an, uh, it's a masterpiece. Uh, they have an issue with the roof, so maybe I'll throw in 60 bucks fucking. Yeah, true. Damn, I'll, have, bucks. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll pay for the hey, lights. Hey, fool, you don't deserve it, fool. Yeah. What the fuck? 60 you bucks. You one month and I'm now you want red? My money's not good. My money's not good. I'm going to show this through Spotify through, right? and I'm going to blow their mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, great, great Bob Jr. award. Um, This first album did grow on me. I, when I you first heard like it, it? Yeah. when I first heard it, I was like, it just was a little too like goofy, you know? I like like I was you, got, saying, you got you got you got into the Cafe Tacuba like mindset, and you went back to it. And I went so, back to yeah. it, and I was like, actually, they made so many hits in their first album that like it's undeniable, it's a great album, dude. dude I, yeah. I it hit me like a ton of bricks, like kind of. I feel like what's the first track? I wrote it down, uh, but I feel like the first fucking track, yeah, uh, Noche Oscuro, Oscuro, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that fucking song. Like immediately, I was like, oh shit, okay, I'm bored, I'm on board. Like, I think it, it was just, the second one for me. It it starts off like right on top it's really good yeah but, yeah they're i mean well we'll get to it but yeah they're really good and i mean i kind of flamed them earlier but uh, about like the no doubt comment yeah but like kind of truly i was like damn like no doubt fucking wishes dude like this truly. is like the best parts of God. like early no doubt you know mm-hmm. so yeah that, that's all i gotta say about that <laughs> <laughs> but uh right, i'll, I'll go next, go next. Oh, yeah. uh <laughs> i'm just gonna drive it home dude fucking break out the tonys because i got another lin-manuel oh, miranda award bye, 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 bye. because there's so many fucking tracks that are like like we've been saying they're fun and they're upbeat and i feel like i could watch someone like have a <laughs> fucking barbecue or like live a little life on a play uh so i have uh las persianas which feels very happy but is a fucking song about like killing your girlfriend or something <laughs> like that right like uh and it, i feel like okay Maybe we could maybe we could pitch this right now, guys. It it's about being behind the drapes, and at first it sounds like the lyrics are very sort of like uh, just poetically revealing about the room and stuff like that. But at the end, they talk about like the debt, like I'll never forget, like by your hand I killed you or something like that, right? And uh, come on. I don't know, you tell me, dog. I don't remember that shit. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, don't a- listen, I don't I don't listen to lyrics like that. That's true. You don't. Yeah, you notoriously don't. But. Uh... Yeah, it's very much like a breakup or breaking up song. Uh, I have but one. I have like, one minute flat. Yeah. You know, it's not the ooze and the ah. There's an oh, oh, oh part for that sure. Lin Manuel Miranda, dude. Yeah. Oh. The twist is she was dead the whole time. Oh. Here we go. Dun dun dun. That's a Hitchcocky right. shit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the big reveal. <laughs>
Yeah, dude. Yeah. Another bang. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, dude. Like I, I, was, I was trying to think of like a, an award, like a cough award or something, because mm. he does that, like, yeah. kind of like, it's it's very cool. This is very Mexican fiddle on the roof. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, um, they are musical. like Because I, I think it's because they do so much, like, different genres. They kind of bounce around that, like, it's just like, it's it's a playground for a musician to be in a band like this because like you could just be like oh let's do like a fucking polka song next and like which is cool part of the being and they in that fucking band. nail it and like Sondheim is over here like doing like oh let's do like <laughs> you know he's like he tries to do that kind of shit and it takes him like a long time and a lot of other people to do it these guys do it and they're like friends from school and, yeah you know, like that's oh. the weird part and then once again dude production 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 production. Production even on this first album is fucking spot on. Yeah. Second album great. is great. Like they just produce and even like Reves and, and Yo Soy is like this production is production. Yeah, Reves is like fucking otherworldly production. Yeah. Like it's crazy. I've got some songs from Reves that are coming up later, but Hell man, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. It's it's nuts. Dudes are geniuses. They're fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like they're, they're really close good. to it, dude. Wait, what's the, what's the instrumental album called? Is that Reves? Reves. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Reves. Reves. Okay. Okay. All right. And then, uh, can I go? Yeah, of course. You're next. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Can I go? One. Yeah. Jesus. Can, can I give it to him, Gio? Can I? Go ahead, dude, please. please. Give me the fucking it. mic, dude. Come on. <laughs> Take it easy, Gio. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, the Kurt Cobain Repeat Offender Award. No. Nice. Nice. We just talked them up, and I'm gonna bring you down, baby. Get him. Wow. Get him. That's life. <laughs> That's life. Uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was a good prank, dude. I'm gonna go. Uh, Lama de dos at two fifty four, please. Nice. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Um, Cause that shit repeats and repeats and repeats yeah. and repeats in a good way, though, dude. Hey, hey. <laughs> Curdies, Curdies aren't always bad. Yeah, That's true. true. A lot of Nirvana repeats, and it's all. Yeah, this yeah. is the you know your right rule. You know you're right. You know that sounds good. To After party, a you're right times. to party. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> Alarma la de dos, uno, dos, tres, patada y cos. Alarma, alarma la de dos, uno, dos, tres, patada y cos. Alarma, alarma la de dos, uno, dos, tres, patada y cos. Oh yeah, yeah. Hell, dude. It is very. <laughs> Kirk, and then at the very end, he's just like, Kirk "Alarma, yeah, alarma, <laughs> yeah, yeah." That's some real egg punky shit there. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, have you ever heard of that band Pulsars? Kind of gives me like, just like two thousands like synth rock kind of vibes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All um, those sparkly tones. Very so very two, sparkly. Two thousands was sparkly synth. And then like that, sure. just like the like kind of overdriven Dramatic. guitar dang, 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 you know, in the background it's like yeah. not very loud but like it's just like this is rock still you, you know, know what i kind of got that i'm remembering not like the sound but again that like in those like little details and the way that they have crazy sounds is some system of a down definitely you know definitely. just like the the risk of like experimenting and like the the distortion but like the really clean distortion you know what i mean Dude. not like the crazy messy sort of so I got some system going on. I, I was gonna give it a Surge Tanky and Voice Changing Award, <laughs> nice, because yeah. like he does that, like he sounds really beautiful. He sounds like really high, and then yeah. he does like even higher sometimes. Yeah. Um, and then I, you know, I think I'm, I'm. This is the third round. Yeah, hold on. What album is this on? That's uh, the cover album. This is a cover album. Oh, yeah. So I want. I gotta figure out who the fuck does the original of this then. Yeah. Oh, we will. We'll Wikipedia that one. Yeah. We'll figure that one out. Uh, or you can tell us. That comments, blew my comments, mind. That blew my mind because you guys told you told me that today. And I yeah, just it's a cover. Yeah. Every every song on this is a cover. Dude, yeah. Um, they have some sick ass covers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, and they're all good. I yeah, I, yeah. I didn't know that until I listened to it like two or three times, and I was like, oh, they they made some bangers. And then I found out they're all covers. Okay, so third round. Ding uh, ding ding ding. Here we go. Okay, I, I wanted to do um, the Search Changian. Not doing that one. I even had a Lin Manuel, not doing that one either. Whoa. Okay, because I heard something in, 
I, I think actually it is Alarma de Dos. It's the same song. What? Okay. At 224, they do like a vocal like harmony with like a um, orchestra kind of thing in the background or at least like a violin. And as soon as I heard it, you know, the hair on my back stood up. I, I remember graduation day, walking down the aisle. <laughs> Thinking I'm I'm never gonna see these guys again, you know. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. Gladstone, 2009. Um, <laughs> now middle school. Womp, no. womp, womp. Dude, Isn't I it mean, an abandoned school. No, no it's it's a middle school oh, now. Okay. Yeah. Dang. Dude, I saw my middle school like English teacher at Gladstone. I mean, this is gonna like dox me hard, but yeah, I, I saw him, dude. I saw Mr. <laughs> Ramos. It's cool as hell, dude. The first dude I knew that like smoked weed. What was he like? Was he scared? I, he didn't see me. Like, he was in his car, and I was in my car, and I saw him. That's I was like, creepy. Oh, shit. Dude, one time he I lived saw... in his car now. <laughs> he didn't see me. He didn't see me. I saw him. He yeah. didn't see me though. One time, me and my homies went to Six Flags, and we saw like a very well like teacher with like the hot teacher sitting on his lap. <laughs> Whoa! There and they were go. getting a caricature drip drawn oh, of them. Oh my god! And we were like, "Hey, Mr. Kelly," and he was like, "Oh, what's up, guy?" Oh shit. <laughs> What's up? What's up? He's like, ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, so this is a a vocal harmony that I think um, they need to get called out for. I don't know if the person that I'm saying they covered for the Grand Theft Audio is really originated with this. I think it might be like an old sim- symphony type song, but just hear it and we'll we'll see. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Now, let's hear a little bit of this song. <laughs> Graduation vitamin C. As we go on, we remember. Thank you. It was great to make all these memories. Yeah. Class of 09. <laughs> I got a feeling tonight's going to be a good night. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling. So we talk. I mean, here, right? Yeah. Are you giving a GTA oh, right now? This is a GTA. <laughs> it's a Grand Theft Audio. They fucking ripped her. Or, I mean, dude, the, yeah. What? She Come was on. probably this probably much later. Let's let's be honest. And yeah. also, um, the wedding song. I think. Wait, you gotta pull up the fucking uh, the chorus of that trip. Oh, you want to do as we go on? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Fuck! I didn't even know they let you listen to this song outside of yeah. Like, I know <laughs> it's true. I thought it was like a, a stadium. Here we go. As we go on, we it's really fucked up to imagine people listening to this driving, like just in their regular roto. How many plays does this fucking song have on Spotify? Dude, I don't know. I'm, 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 I can't stop playing it. it it's it's too nostalgic for me. It was in your Spotify rap. Yeah. A lot of that toss is by uh, Botita de Jerez. Okay. 1980s uh, Mexico City punk band. Oh, nice. Sick. I wonder if they had like. Uh, the music is a fusion of rock, cumbia, and Mexican traditional music like mariachi and Whoa. song. Whoa. So this is like some shit like. Not, not like their synth rock version, I'm sure. Creating the genre called guac rock. Guac rock? Guac rock. Rock. rock and guacamole. It's rock plus 250 or? Nah. <laughs> it's extra. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> Damn, that's tight. Make guac cheaper, please. Yeah, come on. We need our guac rock. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, that was my that was my award. Um, Grand Theft Audio. I just think that, you know, like, vitamin C is influential. And I think they should put, put her name on the it's credits. fantastic. Come yeah. on. <laughs> She doesn't got much else. That's great. I mean, lawyer up. Yeah. Somebody. B- Somebody. Both, both of them need to lawyer up. Yeah, universal yeah. music. Get on that. Yeah, get on it. Fucking cowards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do your real job. Okay, so uh, Greg, what about you? What's your f- third award? Okay. Uh, um, Dude, can I add one? Because I think I only yeah. gave you like... Hell yeah. Okay. I'm going to go for uh, best cover ever. Oh, Ooh, shit. Award. I don't think yeah. we have that. Cover yeah. better than the other. So, uh, than that's what it's called. Cover better than the other. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Um. Can we listen to both? Yeah. Okay, so the song's called Ojala, O-J-A-L-A. Yeah, okay. Que llueva, and then, uh, yeah, so we'll 
Do the original first. The original first, dude. Oh, the original first. Okay, Juan Luis Guerra. Yeah. The original's dope too, but right. it's crazy how they got that song from that one. So what what uh what genre is that? Like is that kinda it's like, like a, it's like cumbia Bob Dylan yeah. or something, dude? Fuck like, me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I don't know, like give me like a Bob Dylan vibe or something. That was good. Yeah. So that was very sounded wow, like very Latin American, like yeah. uh, I would say like what Colombian type it's of like sound. It's like very like like like, like a salsa kinda like yeah. uh, kinda like and then they made this one very like folksy, straight uh, folk yeah. like mariachi. This is yeah. like a straight mm. mariachi right here. Let's check it out. Ojalá que llueva café en el campo, que caiga un aguacero de yuca y té, del cielo una jarita de queso blanco y al sur una montaña de berro. Yeah, they got yeah. down on that one. So dude. dope. Wow, dude, this album just blew my mind. I just found out today that these are all covers, dude. And it just yeah. blows my mind. And they're probably all up. deep, crazy cuts. They are. Yeah, they yeah. are cuts. Uh, yeah, I think Leon, I think the, what was it? What song did Chilanga you? Banda. Yeah, the, the first song off the, the record. He was like, when I told him it was like a cover record, we, we looked up the original like singer. Dude, it's, and it's so it's wild. It's wild. You should look dude. it up. Look it up. Look it up. He's like it best on? friend or. The, <laughs> yeah, I look, it's like some cholo. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's yeah. like a Pachuco cholo, dude. What? It's sick. But again, that's the second song we've had in a row with that violin going off. Yeah, it's and, this dude, this, this chubby dude who's like. Just a yeah. master at like uh, that shit. Alejandro Flores. Yeah. Uh, they consider him to be like the honorary, what is it, fifth member of Café de Cuba because like he's just been able to, because supposedly he's like a concert sort of like professionally trained uh, violinist, but he's been able to come in with all their different angles while mm. recording and like, okay, let's do some mariachi music, yeah. but also like Dude, let's do some voice, experimental sort of stuff. His so. voice is crazy too. Yeah. So fucking going Hell off yeah, on dude. that violin for sure well, it, you know it's, it's Jaime Lopez La Chilanga Banda yeah they go off when they're like when they're on they're on you know what I mean oh yeah dude alright here we go here's a little bit of uh, dude this video La is Banda. crazy too <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on there's this dumbass ad don't worry don't worry we're not giving Miller Light any fucking hey you fucking say that <laughs> 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 Enter promo code skip. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. For a free call. No check and dar de ta cuche. Y chale con la charola. Tan choncho como una chinche. Más chueco que la fayuca. Con fusca y con cachiporra. Te paso a andar de guarura. Mejor yo me echo una chela. Y chance enchufo una chava. Chambeando de chafirete. Me sobra chupa y pachanga. Si choco saco chipote. La choca no es muy molacha. Chileando a los que machucan. Se va a morder su talacha. He passes the sock check for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to put that shit on the dan- uh, over a dance track, dude. Oh, oh yeah, 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 dude. It's like, it's a fine day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a nice we, little jungle track, will, dude. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Great cover better than the other. I, I think this whole album, I, I, don't, I haven't listened to all the original covers, but this album fucking rips. It's a great yeah. cover album, which Weezer, take notes. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> read it and take read fucking it, notes. Dog. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Knee. Knee. Ouch. Rivers, Rivers, summoning himself to your yeah. knee. I know, dude. Ouch. You're just gonna knee Geo in the fucking face one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gonna fly off my leg. Dude. Okay, so I think that was that was that was your turn. Oh, that was, oh, that yeah, was, was yours. That was uh, that was, that that was, was Greg's the, cover bit in the other. Yeah. My, so you're, you're next, Josh. My last award. We've already uh, we've already brought it out. 
but let's dust off that fucking Kurt Cobain because Ooh. they deserve it. Uh, we've talked about Rives, um, but at um, four minutes flat, the song nine is like it's it's a really crazy tripped out experimental uh, instrumental song. And then at uh, four minutes, it just goes into this like the same fucking like rhythm and like melody again and again. It's very like chant like and I don't know. I could skip it. OK. Maybe let's try it out. Thought I was doing drugs. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Now I can his... see it now. I'm like, I'm like, okay, I could, I could kind of see yeah. this. You know? He's staring at the wall in his room. Yeah. <laughs> I would do that. I would just stare at the walls and just like fucking just trip out. out. Music, Is this dude. before you smoked weed? Yeah, that's so Damn. funny. I didn't really, so I didn't really smoke weed till like pretty much my senior year, and then like in college, I really didn't smoke weed like in earlier on. You're like, this is just what I thought <laughs> fucking music is. So I'll just yeah. do the shit yeah. like this, and then listening to the wall every fucking Friday, like front to back, Jesus like Christ. coming home yeah. from school. They're like, what? So, so something's going on with Leon. <laughs> yeah. There's something wrong with Leon. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, yeah. That's the title of my biography, dude. <laughs> I, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't checked out this album because um, you know, like instrumental i figured kind of skippable just inherently it's really you know? good but that's four minutes in and that's like it's out of nowhere and we fucking end the song and that sort of thing. you gotta do dun, something dun, it's not just dun, you don't dun, just dun, listen dun, to that you dun. know yeah, yeah. exactly mm. you gotta be cleaning <laughs> you gotta be yeah, cleaning. Gotta be driving. Driving. i better not be driving yeah. i'd be fucking yeah, ubering to this shit dude, yeah. <laughs> <Fuck> people, dude. <laughs> they're gonna ask you to change it yeah just uh, listen to the noise and shit no 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 my car no 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 <laughs> give me give me bad stars please give me yeah. bad reviews give me all the fucking stars yeah. you don't want <laughs> that nathan for you bit. <laughs> um okay great that was a great third award uh i think leon you're last yeah right? i'm last i'm gonna go with a uh, hidden gem with the reverse side of this nice. album nice uh pretty much the whole album of yo soy is a fucking banger we're gonna front to listen to the whole thing right now yeah, yeah whole thing. All <laughs> yeah. hope you guys got time yeah <laughs> but uh no the three hour uh, episode this album really did like it's influential it's top 15 albums ever for me whoa like it's like it's it's definitely one of the things that just like blew my mind especially just like the whole lore the, like the internal lore i think yeah, i can't that can't happen to me anymore in the time like yeah i literally just could not find any information about and this. and this was a cd of yours yes with like i still have Re- it Reves and Yoso. Yeah. was this the one you were telling i believe it was off pod you were talking about the cd that flipped yeah so that's it's on both sides it's a cd that's mm. crazy i mm-hmm. believe this is the one like that and all this is universal <laughs> it's music cd okay so like it, it played on both sides <laughs> listening to serious yeah okay. dude, d side or c side please but it's hey, like, I just said universal bro. music on it. <laughs> I'm not it's saying dude. universal music. <laughs> and I, I think I remember like not knowing what the track names were until like later on in life, having my own computer and putting it into iTunes. Right. Oh damn. And being right. like, oh, Cause that's you're, cool. exactly because you're just like, oh, songs. track five is cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, I like that. some some bangers, some of the some hits on this album is uh, El Padre, which is the first track, which is great. It's a, it's a song. Oh, is that the thing? Then, then, no, no. Okay. It was on the, uh, <laughs> that one's out again. I, I heard it. Yeah, they had like a a symphony, oh, an entire symphony playing it w- at one time. Oh, really? Maybe um, they have a symphony it, version of it. Mm, okay. But this is very like like on in the vein of like Pink Floyd time, a very like age aging kind of song, which is really good. It's like him being like his dad, being like pissed off that he's becoming his dad. Mm. Just good. Okay. Don't you hate that? Straight out. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, oh this is a song. Pensando igualito que su padre en la casa de Antán. So this song, it's like, this is the title track on it. They still have very Café Tacuba, very, like, still very yeah. Mexican touches to it. But then you have, like, El Hombre Impasible, which is just, like, again, this album came out 2000, I believe. Mm-hmm. Is that when it came out? 
came out in 2000 which is insane so yeah this is the other side of the album yeah just this part um anywhere in it just kind of deeper in yeah here we go yeah. Yeah, and then they got like El Polen, which is definitely a, a heavy hitter in my early mixes. This is just like a it's like a song about a piece of pollen. This is also a song sung by the guy who hit, plays the harpsichord. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, so this is you know, yeah. yeah, this is <laughs> definitely Soccer player. this was definitely like it was gonna be my top bop. This is like ultimate song. Like, I played this on a lot of mixes. People were like, I don't understand what it says. I was like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Song, but, hey, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Yo días navegué por la orilla de un río Todas las horas del día sin descansar Cruzé el desierto, la selva y bosque de montaña At the end of it, he the other guy sings Okay, sorry, yeah. oh. <laughs> you want me to get to that? Yeah. Let's see. Like five minutes in, should we get? Yeah. All right, here we go. I've always like interpreted that song. It's like it also just like uh, it does. I think it goes through the process of like pollen becoming a seed and then becoming mm. something that grows. But it's also just like time and this album has a lot to do yeah. with like time and passing and things right. like that. It's a long ass album too. Yeah, it, a, yeah long albums. Yeah. And we're usually not a fan of the long album here on the Skippables, but it was fucking. When good. you've got something to say though, it's an epic, dude. Th- that's yeah. what I'm saying. I was like, I kind of was because we've literally been flamed online for like not liking long songs. Yeah, and I feel like this is a perfect instance where it's like, yeah, we're all Latino, but yeah. you know what? <laughs> when an album is good and it's also long, then I'll fucking stick around. But this came after you know? the, I think after the the great like the covers album, right? Avalanche Exit those. Yes, yes, yeah. So it, this it, is it came out in '99, just for the record. Oh fuck, y- even, even crazier. crazier. Yeah, right. But uh, um, I was. Just come, Avalanche of the Exitos came out because they couldn't decide on what to make mm-hmm. and because they had dozens of songs it's probably what is what this was and I don't understand Universal let them do it but for some reason they're just like they're hiding it from the fucking world dude true hidden gem right there yeah, yeah. big hidden yeah. gem Yeah, great songs dude check it out it's on YouTube not on Spotify so come on dude. There's, yeah, a, that, there's a couple great there's That's a couple great YouTube music. videos where it's just the whole album so you can just power through it. It's yeah. pretty good. But you can also just find song by song. Well. Yeah, they've yeah. got playlists. That's how yeah. I did it. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So we did the entire three awards. Yeah, three rounds are over. Time for serious business. We went rounds on. That's right, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've, we've had our, our cappuccinos. We've <laughs> had our espressos at the cafe. Yeah. Um, it's time beamed to, up. Time to find our... <laughs> Breaked up for these. Our ones. big two, Yeah. <laughs> Our most skippable is gonna go last, right? That's the that's the deadly zone, deadly territory. We're starting off with our top bop. Okay, this is yeah. one that's like truly your number one favorite in your heart. A song that is like something you're gonna, you know, have etched on your gravestone type shit. Yeah. And it's kinda like our version on the pod of like the kiss of death. We give you something nice, something yes. to think about right before we get to that skippable track. And exactly. Fucking kill you. Just like in James Bond when he kisses that girl and he starts dying or what? Yeah. Yes. yes. Or like, like Kylo Ren. When he... It's the exact same thing. <laughs> You're dead for a white woman. Yeah. <laughs> <That's crazy>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah, let's let's have you, Greg, go first okay. because, of course, you're the big fan. Yeah, dude. We're going to find you with your top bob. What's All your top right. bob? I'm going with Las Flores. Nice. Um, 
Dude, that song is just vibes, man. There's like no rhyming words, <laughs> no chorus. Uh, but the instrumental is beautiful. Um, it's just, yeah, it's an awesome song. Just vibes. Yeah, yeah breaking great, all the rules. Yeah. Hell yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Best instrument in the world. Yeah, dude. It's so <laughs> <the> melodic. <laughs> yeah. It's a man's instrument. Yeah. <laughs> Second place to the freaking oh shit, what is that called? Like a theremin. Theremin, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Theremin's number one, dude. It's so good. Theremins are dope, dude. I yeah, love man. The melodic of fucking rips. Yeah, and it does. I, it does I, when I, he plays it, dude. Yeah, that's true. The, I love the distinction that you're making here, Josh. It's like more melodica, less harmonica. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I dude. had that full revelation today. Yeah. I was like, you know, I think I love the melodica. So you're you're just love the key part of, of, of the instrument. I yeah. also just love the idea of some guy playing the piano to his mouth and jumping back in yeah. the water, like yeah, dancing yeah, yeah, on stage. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. Was he, was he playing that? Oh, like on the, Oh, yeah, dude. He's got the long hair, too, so it's like swinging all over. Hell, oh yeah. God. That's my boy. A dream. Right. Awesome. Great. Okay, yeah, that was a really good one. Really good one. Okay, what about you, Leon? What's your top op? My top op, I, I believe, is off the same album. is El Baile y el Salón. Ooh, okay. At 46 seconds, Great there's game. a version of this on the on their greatest hits album, but it's live. It's good. The album is the best version of this album. Mm. The song is so good. Hell yeah, it's amazing. All right, let's check it out. Here we go. Do you mind going to the disco part at the end? Tuvimos en la pista tu y yo. Let's see if I got to. Here we go. Me quedé sin hablar Mientras tú me fuiste demostrando Higher up? Yeah. Where? Uh, up here? Yeah. Yeah, they slow down. Y vuelva a bailar solo como antes de estar junto I guess also it's supposed Dude, it's to be so a, a, a queer anthem. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's supposed to be about like dancing on the floor and being like fucking free and like realizing you don't give a fuck. You're just cool. dancing. Hell yeah. Nice. Change my mind. I don't like this one. <laughs> 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 no, hell yeah. This song freaking ribs, dude. Yeah, yeah. Ba, 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 away. Oh, it's yeah dude. It's so yeah. good. It's really good. Yeah. I, but they play this live for sure, right? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You seen it dude, live? Yeah. Okay. Good. Dude, right. I'm thinking about they, it. They play- saved this one for last a lot of times. Oh, fuck. Ooh, They're playing in sense. June at the Hollywood Bowl. Let's go. Let's go. I'm Let's go. Go. Down. Down. I'm Patreon, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> Sponsor <laughs> us. Sponsor <laughs> us. Take us. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Get Damn. us backstage. Let's research. Tax deductible. Oh, we'll ask, them, we'll ask them what their top op is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of ours? Yeah. Yeah. Our Which favorite. episode? Yeah, what favorite? The Greg episode. All right. We're a little biased, but the Greg episode. That Greg episode sold a lot of tickets for us. Yeah. Actually, I like the Frank and Yours. Oh, yeah. Kanye one. <laughs> He's our favorite. What? Just the other <laughs> Greg there who bought a ticket after listening. Oh yeah. Dude. <laughs> All right. Um, you want to go next, Josh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'm like last, right? No, I, I'm not. Oh, okay, I, I have yeah. one more too. Uh, Gio my, has to be last. My so top bop is a, a classic. It's Maria. Um, two twenty five. It's just again that fucking liquid smooth. Oh yeah. Music, you know. First album. This is definitely going on the kickback. Uh, yeah, first <laughs> album. This is going on the kickback playlist for sure. Yeah. All right, let's check it out.
very city pop, dude. Yeah, and you know I'm a big proponent You're of the city, city pop. pop I absolutely. love the city pop. For he, sure. goes, he goes in on the melodica at the end. <laughs> yeah, he does. That melodica is so good at the end. And then that's playing, and I fucking roll up behind you guys while you're vibing out at the kickback. I'm like, hey, guys, the God of Asada is about to start it's cooking. Ready, yeah. All right, so. yeah. And then we, I, I, I got a little piece ready. for you. I got a little piece for yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is this tender enough, Leon? Yeah. I poured some tecate on yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy it. at the same time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, exactly. My God. Oh. Yeah, imagine a piece of God of melting in your mouth while this song plays. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> As you hit the joint at the same time. <laughs> 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 Boom. Sucking on this guy's fingers. <laughs> <laughs> also on the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't but yeah, the don't top my bop, yum, dog. Top bop. <laughs> we love fucking that, great. It's a great song. It's a what great a fucking song. Um okay, yeah. I'm I'm last for top bop. I'm also going to go off of re re Ixtepec. after re, Ooh, re, re. Oh, yeah. regarding that's low key a hidden gem people don't talk about that song really yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't i mean this is my first time listening so they're all kind of hidden gems for right me. and i had a hidden gem as well because there's so many good songs what was yeah. it um i have one my too. hidden gem was uh las batallas oh i love that song las batallas off of so many good songs first record i think yeah yeah, yeah. um but Ixtepec, uh, oh great song. East- East Effect is my hidden gem. Your hidden gem. That's Whoa. so great. I'm glad that we're hearing Heck this. Heck yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, here we go. Here's a little Cycle bit. Cycle Sisters, dude. Dude, I know. <laughs> I, and I did like basically all your awards. I'm synced yeah. up on you guys. Hell yeah. We're synced, drug. <laughs> <laughs> It's the it's the like the digital drums that really do that it snare it. right. It's just punching yeah. that whole time. They do. They, they, they're really good at mixing like organic and unorganic. That's yeah, what it is. Dude. Truly, yeah. That's exactly. like, it's such a good blend of it. Like, That's why I feel like that radio hunk, uh, comment is so disrespectful because it's like no, this isn't fucking Tom exactly. York. It's no. like it's I guess it's the same sort of experimentation, but it's like. You know, Tom York's not doing some shit like this, Mm-mm. you know? Mm-mm. You can't play that fucking classical nylon guitar like that. Not like that, <laughs> dude. It's, the comparison is unfair, not to Radiohead, but to Cafe Tacuba. You know, like, it's yeah. them that are getting the short end of the stick. Yeah, Radio like should be lucky. Exactly. It, truly. Yeah, like, I, I didn't have this opinion before, but now I do. Like... They're kind of Damn, are you a Cafe Tacuba head now? They're so much better. Just in, like... Because, like, okay, I, I don't want... We we're not We're not there yet. Because we're gonna do Radiohead at some yeah. point, but the trajectory is like a fucking downward like spiral. Like it, it is, it is like a perfect ellipse. You know, like a, a Radiohead. Like it goes up and then it goes <laughs> down. Damn, oh, dude, and Rainbows is the best one. It's one of the later ones. One. Of, I mean, that's like three. That's like the third to last. Yeah, it's the last one I listened yeah, to. Yeah, you know, boys, that ex- boys, exactly. Boys, boys, exactly. For the episode. Right, well, right, right. that's what I'm saying. You know, like these, we'll save it. We'll save this it. band, I don't think they had that problem. I think no. they're probably still good. Like, I haven't listened to their new stuff yet, but I can't imagine it being worse than King of Limbs. I listened you know? to it. I listened to it because I, I wanted to go reverse because I thought we were listening to the full discography. Oh, okay. Was it good? Yeah, it's good. It's good? Okay. See, I mean, already, you just saying it's good is better than well, Like, they have, like, you heard, like, Pearl, they had you know? that guy like, that song, they had that guy it was pretty, like, oh, yeah. That one's sick, and that's, like, one of the later that's albums. My, that's my favorite music video of yeah. theirs. Okay. It's really sick. Yeah. They, they do a choreographed dance, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. They do that dance at the yeah. concerts. So yeah. Flash mob or they, what? They do it at the concerts, too. <laughs> yeah. Very, yeah. De- very Devo. Yeah. Yeah. Very Devo. That was, that's very Devo. The little choreographed dance that they do, yes. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Dang. Okay. So. Artsy guys, for sure. Very artsy. Very artsy. That's all of our top bops. Yep. This is it. We're at, we've reached it. I, I hate doing this. Yeah. I hate doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Can we can we get on with this? Yeah, please? Let's we're gonna have, we're rip the bandaid out real quick. Yeah. So we are now here at the most skippable. Yeah, and you know I hate doing this, but also this is this may be good for for them. We're doing a culling of of the bad, a culling of the weak. It's like the giver, right. you know. We're just yeah. taking out the bad babies. Yes, <laughs> it's like Sparta. And we can tell. Yes, we, we Sparta, know. Yeah, Sparta, yeah. yeah there that's we how go. we keep a high level. Only the strongest there's, songs survive. There's, 
Scream a ball. It's like uh, <laughs> it's Trump's wall. Dude. They're not sending their best. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, and I heard Café de Cobo was supposed to pay for that. Yeah, so. they're going to pay for the wall. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to pay for the wall. I was like, <laughs> so not funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> This but is what I heard. It's that serious, you know, political yeah. kind of yeah, like yeah. stakes are are, are are at exactly. play here. Yeah, these songs, as soon as they're named the most skippable by the Skippables podcast, they're gone forever. Mm. So No Fly List. No Fly List. Uh FBI Most Wanted some List. Some aren't even on Spotify, but they have no fighting chance after this. <laughs> yeah, no you even know? YouTube. They're, they're banned. They get blackballed blacklisted. Yeah, your right. your records are just gonna like sort of become blank. Like all your tapes are gonna get like your CDs are scratched and these songs are just gonna be unavailable after this episode. Yes. So we got yes. that MIB technology. Yeah, yes. exactly. <laughs> Consider this your warning, okay? So, <laughs> but it's the best. It's okay, the best for you. So I mean, now you know the stakes. Now you know it's real. Yep. But what do we do to them again? We send them to fucking Mars. That's dude. right. Damn. They God. go so they go to fucking Mars. SpaceX. Yeah. That's no, right. we, we cut ties with yeah, SpaceX. We're, we're Virgin Galactic. Now. Virgin Galactic. <laughs> yeah, 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 we are. They, shout they, out, they shout out to Madonna. Deal. Madonna, you're in LA. This one goes to you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so most skippable. We're going to have Greg go last because you are the biggest fan. Cool. And it makes it more dramatic. It makes it oh, way more dramatic. Yeah. Um, drama queen you get to cringe sure. while you hear all of us say yeah. Can I go first? Wow. wow. Okay, Josh wants to go first. I got one, and I feel like I want to get it out of the... the I want to go first so that okay. you guys, it weighs in. 10 or yes <laughs> uh literally anywhere in the fucking song i'm not even gonna say anything about it uh just cut to like i don't know a minute in all right here we go How long is this song though? Yeah, I I fuck with dude, this, dude. What are they making fun of in Scary Movie when they do the basketball scene? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a good hand. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to be yeah. in the room where there's 50 guys playing this at one time. I want to be standing there. No earplugs. Are, just are fucking they, give they, it to me raw, dude. Are they playing something? Or are they just stomping and clapping? Emmanuel's got the space right. echo on, dude. Like, <laughs> it's one guy clapping. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's I good. think it's like they're hitting like something like a like, something like, like stomp, and then just yeah, like trash making cans it, and something? they're just like reverb and delaying yeah, it and all exactly. that kind of shit. I'm but I just sure. I imagine this being. 150 dudes in one room playing <laughs> the same yeah. drums. The uh, Beijing <laughs> opening yeah. Olympics. Yeah. 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 Oh shit. Like, have, you ever, boxes, yeah. Dude. have you ever seen people play like the water when they're in the water and they're, oh, like they're clapping so on the good. water? Oh, yeah. Like, it's like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, like, I've seen the blue 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 blue. Oh, orange. <laughs> water. You seen them? Green yeah. Water. yeah. <laughs> jealous. Yeah. I want to see the blue man group. I would love it. I was so jealous. I'd love to see blue man group. Bucket Bucket are going. Yeah. List, Patreon, come on, guys, pull through. Take us, dog. We'll, we'll make we'll make content. <laughs> yeah, come on, send we'll us. We'll take you Man there. Group. We'll take you there with That's us. That's a tier. <laughs> Blue Man Group episode next. Yeah. <laughs> Forty dollars a month. You can come with us, dude. Yeah. In a okay. couple months after you pay. That was that was a really challenging song because like there's not much to listen to. It's just like yeah, ambient, exactly. ambient stomping. And it's three minutes, 46 seconds of clapping. And sure, there's 150 guys, and then there's 70 guys, and then there's two guys. But I am skipping. Yeah, dude, imagine I don't how, need to... no five guys either. Dude. How red their palms were after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine they get through like the recording? He's like, no, no, we weren't no, recording. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't recording. Dude, again. Oh, shit. We're going to sample the shit out of this. Dude. Hell yeah, dude. That, allegedly, 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 yeah, allegedly, allegedly, of allegedly, we're going to sample the shit out of this. <laughs> All right. That was, All right. that was pretty bad. Can I go? Of course. I'm going to go professor. with my most skippable. Uh, I got a PhD in hateronomics. Yes. This is natural for me. Yeah, okay. I know what I'm doing. Right. True. Don't <laughs> fucking question it. <laughs> it's going to be a Labios Jaguar at 30 oh, seconds. No. <laughs> no. I mean, it's it's hard to pick a bad one, but this is like, this is like I don't know. Just bugged me at some point. Let it play to you. All right. it's, <laughs> it's not the worst song. It's not the worst song, I have to admit. But yeah. I'm 
Milanicas. Yeah. <laughs> Milanicas going crazy. Milanicas on it, dude. It just it reminds goes. me. It reminds me of Fight Like a Brave era. Oh uh, shit! Oh, Red, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lyrics are kind of dumb too. He's like putting down his girlfriend because she's white. <laughs> yeah, which is dope. But uh. <laughs> You chose her, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, he puts on his girlfriend and he like <laughs> falls in love with time. his like with the uh, the help. Yeah, the, the help. Girlfriends. The girlfriend's uh, yeah maid or whatever. Tahim Princesa, dude. Yeah. Sick ass name, dude. Tahim Princesa. That's funny. Where's my Tahim Princesa that's so app, funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Your app. <laughs> yeah. Where's she at? Hit me up. Oh my god. <laughs> my Tahim Princesa, dude. <laughs> oh. That was good. I mean, I. I it's a funky song, and um, it's just like I said, it reminds me too much of like the fight, like a brave kind of like. I can hear it. Uh, I totally. Uh, like, and it's just like I get bro that. march. Yeah. Um, mine is also off the off the first record, and this one is I think just for me, it's not skippable in a horrible way, but it is skippable in a. I'm gonna skip it. I'm just gonna like yeah. I'm just naturally just gonna you skip it. it I've listened know, to it a couple times. Did it need to be on the album? Sort it's, of thing. It's a short. It's like it's. 34 seconds of a song oh, right yeah. so it's like it doesn't really need to be there no they one's just gonna had miss a little it. bit left on the tape when they were recording yeah, dude, we've all been there exactly <laughs> yeah. yeah so Gotta fill side a to make side b work yeah, exactly true. it yeah, has yeah. to kind of have that dead space <laughs> even so yeah they did uh pinche juan yeah. uh, pinche juan rules yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i mean it rules once and i think what they they did it better in the second album with, with, I just with think your middle name is Juan, Juan, huh? Yeah, Juan, exactly. Yeah, it is Juan. <laughs> your middle name is Juan, huh? That's what it no. is. No, like, what the fuck? No. But, fuck uh, this song. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like they did it better in the second record. Like, they went further with that kind of sound, and they did a longer song. This is it's just it's, it's like a flash in the pan. I don't hate it, but I'm just going to skip it just out of, like, the first two seconds of it. Just kind of like, man, eh, I'm okay. No thanks. So here we go. my top bop right yeah, <laughs> I love it's, pretty, it. it's pretty good like it's fine you got melodica. it's fine <laughs> but I will, I will give it it does not have a melodica <laughs> does it it might yeah I it did I actually in the background yeah, yeah. Yeah. that was a keyboard at the end oh maybe it was a keyboard yeah maybe it was him but who knows but either way it's, it's a fine song I just don't think anyone's gonna be missing this song if I skip yeah. it and cause I truly did love what I listened to most of what I listened to if not all that I listened to very into it gonna listen to it more like excited to listen to the rest of it type thing so like i had to choose and like this is such an easy choice for me yeah and, and we, it's already the second track where people are fighting and pushing back like no that's a good song no that's a good song so it's like it really just plays into how good the band is we just gotta you know? do our job sometimes dude. yeah exactly it's true yeah we have to find the most skippable and someone's like... gonna die <laughs> someone's gotta run the yeah. guillotine all right yes <laughs> so yeah, bro we, people, be need people, blood. Need, people need blood yeah the executioner needs blood. a job yeah, it bleeds dude. it leads you know yeah. <laughs> i wasn't on the jury but they voted him to die yeah <laughs> so that's that's mine. That's all of ours. Okay, all right. Greg, if, if he's got to go, all right. on, what is your most skippable? All right, I went. Uh, I went pretty ballsy because it's like a song oh, with shit. lyrics, and it's like the hit off of that album. Whoa. Uh, well, kind of the hit, but it, it's literally a skippable song. I, when it comes on, when oh. I'm driving, I'm like next. Damn. Um, all right, let's let's play, dude. It's uh, ale. 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 Oh, you can start it from the beginning. I thought you were going to say edit as right now. And no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. yeah that would have been nuts. <laughs> All right, let's do Here we go. <laughs> There's a section in the song where he's just going bup, 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 over like a full like <laughs> minute. Dude. Yeah, so, yeah. That's, that's my skippable. Right yeah, there. I get that. I can see it for this sure. This was gonna be my commercial 
appeal. appeal? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sounds I can like see a that. fucking Kia commercial. Oh, dude. whoa. Yeah. A Kia yeah. commercial for sure. Yes. <laughs> true, true, true. This, okay, so like, I, I, I think I read something about how like every album they've done has been produced by the same dude except for this album. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. This album was produced by like a few different people, one of them being like the producer for the Flaming Lips. No. So I think it was like this is just like a different take for them. And maybe it didn't really hit that hard. You know, right. like this album is OK, but I didn't really see many of these songs on this album in our list. Just kind of we all kind of landed on Re, which is yeah. like yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're very that, telling. That, and, and of course, the self-titled ba- first one. We yeah. basic bitches. You know? Yeah. Self-titled first one is actually really fucking good, too. Mm. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's an interesting album. I just don't think it really like fits perfectly in their like style because it doesn't vary that much it does right. feel like there's like a rock band in this album right yeah yeah, yeah. and i what feel is on Cuatro Caminos? and i feel like at a certain uh, point there's Cero like Uno. their sound the cafe de cuba sound is different sound like yes. a- eclectic sound yes. you know what i mean so it's like when we do get a full album of it a singular sort of vibe it is not like them yeah you know? yeah. yeah you expect something else right what are you talking about it has edited on it which is like they're one of the best songs is it really I, I don't this know. is one of their most popular yeah, songs. That's, their, that's the one that everyone recognizes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, you since, didn't like, since you I have no you didn't like Geddes? It didn't really stick <laughs> hey, out to me. Like hey, bro, Gettys you didn't like Geddes? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can't say it. the camera, though. Say it. I can't say that it stuck out to me. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> say it. Say <laughs> it. Through tone. Did. Say, sing it. Sing it to me. Sing me a little ditty because I can't remember it. You can play. You got the computer there. Don't do me don't. You don't like it that much? Don't You can't even sing it to me, dude. I don't want my singer, baby. All right, let me look up a little bit of Edis. Actually, no, we're done with them, dude. Yeah, we're, we're done. done. <laughs> we're done, dude. <laughs> Fine. Oh, you sound this... like him right there. Yeah, this is like their pop. <laughs> yeah, this is like their, their top song. I think a lot of it has to do with the music video. Basic. The music video. The music yeah. video was like a big Sorry. thing. It's like this kid in like in like middle school, like like having a crush, or like in high school having a crush on one yeah. of the girls. Okay. He's like a nerdy ass kid, and he's just drawing shit in his notebook, and it's just like, <laughs> dude, it's great. It's such a good music video. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, yeah, I'll it's check it out. Right. Fun. I thought you were joking, and I was like, I mean, <laughs> how dare you? I'm for sure joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen it? I have seen it. I've gotcha. seen it. Yeah, okay. but I don't think I like it for the same reasons you like it. <laughs> it's a good song. It's but it, it is their t- it is like their yeah, the most crazy. popular song. Yeah. That's crazy because they have is so much better music. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Whatever. The, yeah, the people want something chill. <laughs> That's what they it want is. a love song. They want like a the most common denominator type song, which I guess this is what they get. The chorus on that is pretty cool. I guess looking your head, it's an earworm. <laughs> but take your word for it, Leon. <laughs> so yeah, we we've got a whole fucking we got a full rocket going up tomorrow. Yeah, it's going. It's you going. Know, I think, Sayonara. I adios. Think, I think all these songs are well deserved. Uh, the planned uh, explosion on the <laughs> on yeah, the way yeah, to yes. Mars. Yeah. Sorry, so submersible, guys. dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> implode. <something>. Yeah. Implode. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So before we do to ask the final question, do we have a uh, pro tip? I do have some pro tips. Actually, pro tip. another oh, one that came about. I got a new one that I didn't give you. Can I give you that one right now? Yeah. Let's do the first one though, Mister. Okay. So this one is going to go to uh, Pro Tip, not necessarily a band that sounds like it. They do have some kind of sounds to similar, but it's just another alternative band from Mexico. Uh, these guys are from Monterrey. They're Plaza in the Mosh. This is also shit that I was watching at the same time when Fatakuba music That's videos. so cool. Like really quick, Leon, going back to your summers in uh, in Mexico. So yeah. you're getting these, this music there and yeah. bumping it while you're out and about until yeah. 10 when the church fucking has yeah. the yeah. bell. Well, I mean, like, not, not too much of that because it's like, I, I didn't have, have a right. fucking CD player. Oh, okay, okay. Right. So it's, like, <laughs> it's hard to listen to music back then on the, on the go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But, but I mean, yeah, like I would be watching MTV. This would be like my shit. I was watching stuff like fuck, this, like that. I so could not get here. Cool. It's like it's like yeah. modern music. You come up here and you listen to the stuff in the radio. It's like all oh, like rancheras and stuff like that. You would yeah, get yeah. like mm, alternative true. rock music, and you'd get stuff from all over Latin America too, which was crazy. When you were down there, did you ever watch Shrek en Español? 
<laughs> Shrek in Espanol? No. Yeah. That, that's no. I used to see Spawn every summer. Oh, that's cool. I watched Spawn and Karate Kid. Kid. Yeah. Dude, I watched Madagascar. <laughs> King Julian in Espanol, dude. Dude, Shrek in Espanol yeah. is amazing. <laughs> Me and my like family and like my brothers will like watch Shrek in really? Espanol. <laughs> it's so good. Religiously, every Christmas. Dude. They're like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Ogre. <laughs> ogre. It's so fucking funny, dude. So uh, uh, it's gonna go to uh, Placido de Mosh and this, this song, Mr. P. Mosh. This is uh, they just do it's very back. They do a lot of samples. It's just two dudes, keyboard cool. and a like, oh. guitar, yeah, I'll and like it. a bunch of effects and shit. Check it out. Soy el hombre de la noche, soy la sombra de la vida. Mi sangre es la comida que te hace estar dormida. Pero no me hagas carita, solo busco otra salida. Bailando y cantando es tu castigo por ser diva. Soy el verdugo de tus sueños. No soy malo, soy veneno. No me mires a los ojos porque puede que no encuentres nada más que tu reflejo. Yo soy tu infierno. Yo soy tu infierno. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff in English and Spanish. They're like bilingual one today. Well, that fucking blew my mind. Yeah, that was crazy. Fuck, that was but insane. But I had a time. I had a time at one thirty. But you just said, you know, fuck you. Do one thirty. Here, I'll do a little bit of that. You ready? No respiro, soy de fierro. No me busques, yo te encuentro. Exactly the same, Leon. Yeah, I know, but one thirty goes into other part to it. Because like, before you cut it off again, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> fuck, whatever. <laughs> Uh, also, I heard a lot of this uh, when you play one of the songs. Uh, the Chills, Heavenly Pop Hit. Um, definitely has some Chills, New Zealand early vibes from the first album. Nice. Um, yeah, Chills Rule, New Zealand, Flying Nun. Listen oh. to that shit. Here we Small go. country, good music. The beginning. <laughs> he doesn't wait for direction. He doesn't ask. You just tell he doesn't me the time you. as soon as you say the, oh, the track. Adding dramatic <laughs> effect. Adding dramatic effect. Yeah. Also a very Lynn heavy band. Mm. A lot of int- intros and musicals, yeah, but yeah. yeah. New Zealand, right. dude. Listen to the Check out the chills. Yeah. Okay. So, final question. Is Café Tacuba as a whole, their entire first five albums, skippable? Should we count it off? Yeah. Okay, One, here we go. Two, three. three. No. No way, no. dude. No way. No. This is crazy. I love when the fucking podcast brings me a band that I'm like, okay, I'm listening to this for like the foreseeable future. Yeah, this here. is forever. Hold yeah. on, though. Hold on. We all speak Spanish, though. Can you put this into somebody who doesn't speak Spanish and you think they'll enjoy it? Yes. Uh, I, I am not fluent. Yeah. I, I'm not fluent in Spanish, for sure. Okay. And yeah. I fucking rock with it. Yeah, it's know? all about the vibes, man. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the The instrumentals, the uh, Ruben's voice is crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's Agreed. really fucking good. And Agreed. the parts that I did understand in Spanish <laughs> blew my mind. Yeah. <laughs> All the C's and those. Like, I know that word. All the C and those. <laughs> yeah. He said no. Yeah. I said that in English. <laughs> yeah. All the best tracks. Yes. yes. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, so, good God. callback. Good callback. Yeah. Dude. They're so fucking yeah. good, though. Maybe like, I'll be fluent after listening to them. For yes. A of, Heck yeah. Go to school yeah. to learn more, to understand the band more. Um, you have to show people this band. Mm-hmm. And don't taint them with a radio headline. Don't say it. Okay? I, as I, much I, as you want to say it, don't say it. I will say there are parts that I feel like people won't always dig. And, like, to your point, maybe it is just because, like, we all grew up with, like, Spanish Mexican music, and we're kind of used to like a nasally high voice or like yeah, a, a, right. a, a you know polka what? That's beat. A, that's a know? good um good point. Because yeah. one time, uh, so I work at, at a gro- I work at Trader Joe's. Hell yeah! And uh, in the mornings, like five a.m., they sometimes have someone pick a playlist. I was like, fuck, I'll pick rock and espanol, you know. And then um, there's some white folks in there that were just not digging this music at all. <laughs> They're not acclimated. You True. know, like right. people just aren't like ready for that. Go shit. back to Nebraska, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna make it, buddy. <laughs> Michigan. I guess that's you know, yeah. Wherever so the fuck you are from. Know that the person, like, you have to know that they're down, to know that they're kind of culturally I, open to different kinds of music. Right. You know, if they're like the I like every type of music type person. Oh, yeah. This is for them, dude. Tr- test them out. <laughs> test um, them out. Do you think a radio head? 
head. <laughs> you could like yes. would dig this. I, I think if you showed any average Radiohead fan this band and told them like they're another alternative band not comparison kind of wise like they're not like radiohead i think they would like it start off like, with yo soy and you I think right. you can start off with that yo soy is such a like a crazy like i don't know it's very experimental very out there but it's still very poppy check right. it out totally. yeah and if you want to come of that but then it's like that fucking pop ass songs you're just talking about no doubt but better yeah first up. album second album they have a lot of cool like 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 songs like geo brought up the whole artificial Sound song sounds yeah. with yeah. digital drums, yeah, dude, with like super like, fucking fun, uh huh, yeah. with crazy show like, everybody, dude, Spanish guitar spread over the it. word, yeah. yeah, spread it because like spread I'm already Cafe feeling Cuba. like I'm late yeah. to the Cafe de Cuba I'm fucking party, party we're you know, late. bro. Early enough to the potentially get tickets to go see them in true yeah. in June, yeah, you know, true. we gotta go. Yeah. I'm gonna Damn. be coming. How back. mad would you be if they would have like played and then? We didn't. Yeah, see true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, well, fuck. Subscribe to the Patreon. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quick, everybody. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. dude. Greg, thank you for coming on the show. Seriously, dude, thank you, this man. This was thank great. You. I'm happy uh, to be here. Awesome having you on, and hopefully we get to go to the next Basement Dwellers. And everybody, get your tickets as soon as it goes yeah. on. Yeah, we're, we're lucky because uh, we know a guy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get the early notification. <laughs> but yeah, dude, super cool. Where can our uh, followers like find you? What are you, are you performing? Uh, again, just my Instagram, San Goyo, S A N dot G O Y O. Follow Basement Dwellers, uh, comedy. Fuck yeah. If you want tickets, because we straight up say, like, buy your tickets now because they sell out. And people think we're being, like, salesy, but we're not. We're, no. we're literally just, like, warning you guys. Yeah, I've fallen. I've fallen for yeah, that dude. a couple times. The pitfall. But it's worth it because it's gonna be the fucking like go to spot. They have know? a live band. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude. I've seen. They have photos yeah. of a live band. Shout out Tall, Dark, and Handsome. Dude, so unskippable music, unskippable comedy. What a good unskippable COVID. What a good episode. (laughs) Great episode. (laughs) Feeling good about this one. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, and uh, to the world out there, don't let it skip you by. Bye bye. Toodaloo.